So uh, my inspiration to become a therapist was my own therapy journey. So I'd been depressed for quite a few times in my late teens and early 20s. And then I accessed counselling at university, doing my counselling and psychology degree. And then after my degree, my undergrad, I then did, I've done two diplomas now in, psycho, in psychotherapy. I heard of MIP through a friend in the person-centred counselling world and she let me know of a workshop on shame that Bob Cook was running on a Friday night seminar and it was brilliant, it blew me away. And from that seminar I thought actually he's talking about me. So I then chased him and um, the Manchester Institute for some training, started the diploma there. So my previous experience has been um, working for seven years in domestic abuse and before that probation and criminal justice and before that drug services. So I came through an experiential route really and so now I, my, my love in the work is relationship issues and I've, that's my experience. I think some people come um, for therapy because they've tried everything else and nothing work, nothing else is, is like their last ditch um, attempt. But I think other people come in when the problems just start and actually that means we can get a quicker result because they've not let the problem fester and go on and on and on for years. In university, for example, people learn how to be therapists where the difference at MIP is that we experience how to become a therapist. So we do lots and lots of personal work. By the time we graduate, we are better therapists, I think, for, for all the personal therapy that we go through. If you've got toothache, you'd go and see a dentist. So if, you, if you've got an emotional problem, it makes sense that you go and get some support with that. My therapy journey has been phenomenal. It's been really, really tough at times, but I, it's been the best journey of my life. And I think it's made me a much, much better parent. I love discovering kind of the, the root of issues. So it's a bit like a, a piece of string and you kind of follow the string and see where it, and you're like, oh, that, that's, where it, that's where the nugget is. That's what I love about therapy.